from the floor of the CME Group. This is Danny Riley with today's Cash Close. Who says I don't get excited about this stuff anymore? The name of this video, Mutual Funds to the Rescue. The high of the day in the S&P came in at 2058.80. Mid-morning, the low came in at 2039.70 after the open. And last, or 2047 even, we're down 10.75 handles. Total volume, we've got 4,500 big S&Ps traded in the pit and 1.5 million minis traded. Now look, we're going to have to forego the MOC, me, me doing putting this into the, uh, into the video today because our guy Jeff has got to leave early. But you know what? It's my guess that we see big to buy. Now, tomorrow we've got a gigantic eco schedule. We've got the J Challenger Jobs Cut Report, we have the international trade number, we have jobless claims, we have the Gallup U.S. payroll, the population number, we have Federal Reserve Janet Yellen speaking to the St. Louis Community Development Conference in Washington, we have Fed Governor Leo, Leo Bernard speaking, I got past that. We have factory orders, the EIA natural gas report, a 3, a 10, and a 30-year bond announcement, a note announcement, excuse me, the Fed balance sheet and money supply. Hmm. Now, let's get to the meat of this. Now, look, it was a nice sell-off this morning, but it was the mutual funds to the rescue. Now, the question is, what in most cases what happens is you see this residual selling that goes in at the end of the month, or at the end of the quarter. Now we'll be specific to the end of, end of the quarter and into the new quarter on this one, but generally the mutual funds will come right back and put that money to work, back to work. And it's my guess that's what they do. Whether they do it today or they do it tomorrow during the shortened week, I don't know, but that money will get put back to work at some point here in the next few days or in the beginning of the new quarter. Now, according to the Stock Traders Almanac, the S&P has climbed every single April since 2006 by an average of 3.1 percent. And since 1950, it's been the pe best performing month for the Dow Jones. Now, I think what we're going is we, as we end up, as we leave the best six months for stocks, November to April, I think we could be in a little bit more, a little bit more volatility coming our way. But that said, as long as the, the S&P continues to hold on these dips at the 2031, 2035 level, 20 in holding around the 2050 level, I think that there's a great possi greater possibility here as we go into the new month that we're going to get some type of upward spike up. But that said, I want to reiterate something. I'm not quite sure that the S&Ps are going very far either way. Now, it's a shortened week, and I think as the volumes start to drop, we'll see a little bit of thin to win trade. Like I said, I don't know if that's going to happen today or tomorrow, but it is going to happen. And you know what? At the end of the day, I'm not completely sure that the, the, that the stock market's out of the woods yet, but I think it's starting to try. That said, we're going to leave it like that. I want to wish everybody a very merry or a very happy Easter and Passover for our Jewish friends. And you know what? Let's see you back next week on the opening. No, excuse me. We'll see you tomorrow on the opening print. Mm.